Welcome to 15 Minutes of Bedlam. My guests today are JJ from Resident Aliens and Dre from Eaten by Crows. And we're here tonight at Gator Tales in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh, for a big show tonight. Tell us what's going on tonight, JJ. Well, we got a we got a few good bands. I haven't played with uh, haven't played with you guys yet. I've been looking forward to playing with you guys. Um, um, pretty excited about it. I mean, Buried in Terror, I've heard very good as well. I've listened to a few of y'all's songs, and y'all are phenomenal from what I've heard so far. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. This is our uh, this is our third show, our third show ever playing, and this is my third time ever playing on stage. So. Well, Pretty that's exciting. amazing. That's yeah. fun. That's yeah. that's a fun time uh, for sure. Like er, early in a band's career yeah. and oh, early yeah. early gigging, so that's great. Yeah. And uh, and Dre, we're happy to have you here tonight. Tell us what your role is going to be tonight with the Bedlam Hour set. I'm uh, well, I was hired by you technically to do sound. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, because what what happened with y- oh, my, what happened with y'all sound guy again? Because like, isn't he like filling in for another band? Uh, yeah, he's actually doing. Uh, he's our one of our bass players. DC is mm-hmm. doing a show with some members of the Offspring, but I don't know if they're yeah. on the road or what. But he wasn't able to make this one. Yeah. So, yeah, I was. I'm supposedly I'm gonna be doing sound, and I don't know if it's gonna go well or not. <laughs> but this place is super sick. Like it, yeah. it's so cool. Yeah, we got a nice little setup. <laughs> it is super nice. Yeah, and, I love um, it. I've done sound. I. Ha- uh, like a hundred different times, probably at, at our at uh, all of our school gigs and like other places. But I don't know how this place is going to be, so it's going to be like a trick trying to figure out everything, you know. Well, as long as you said it loud, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> aiming to get it real loud. That Hell sounds yeah. great. That Bring your earplugs, great. people. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you ever come to a show around here and I'm the sound guy. Bring earplugs. Sweet. Yeah, he's not lying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, wait, I, I, I've played in and been to several shows, but they always do sound great. Your, your yeah. mixing skills are really, really getting sharp uh, with all yeah. the school gigs. We have a lot of gigs at our school. Uh, so I'm a teacher. Dre's one of my students, but we have tons of gigs there. We have a very active music department, so yeah. so it's great. Uh, every, hmm? well, go ahead. Every, every time we every time we go to play there, I'm always just like, okay. Loud as we can go with the least feedback possible. And it <laughs> always ends up having a lot, a lot of feedback. Of feedback. <laughs> <laughs> but but the thing is, it's super simple. All it is is we just turn the amps up super loud, mic up the kick drum, and then it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's worked like, forever, really. Yeah, it's super simple. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever had to deal with, like, more than, like, maybe three microphones right yeah um and it's i'm excited i'm really excited to, to see how it goes like, oh that's beyond awesome, excited it's it's gonna it's gonna be really cool yeah, well i'm excited really cool. to hear it tonight it's gonna be great we're kicking off the show tonight with resident aliens so tell us oh heck yeah jj a little bit about how the band came about and how you became a singer in this band and tell me about the fellas in the band okay so um well started off i moved down here from polly's living up in polly's for a while and um I moved back down for work, and uh, I was talking to um, Aaron. They had just, Shim Creeps was the old band. Um, they had just broken up, unfortunately. Um, I, we were just sitting down one night at a bar, just talking and hanging out, and me and Aaron, we go way back into high school, and we taught, we'd played music together and everything else, and we'd talked about putting a band together, but um, we were just, like, having a little conversation. He's like, well, we're having tryouts if you want to come and sing, because I was telling him uh, – I was interested in singing, and um, I didn't ask to be in the band. I just was, like, talking to him about it. He's like, well, come try out. We've had a few people who haven't shown up and everything else. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll swing by. And um, the first practice, I was a little nervous. Didn't want to sing. And, like, uh, they were, like, looking at me like, when is this guy going to say something? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, is he going to sing at yeah. all? And um, I had written, we had a song that they had just kind of messed around with. And uh, I was like, send me the send me the music to that and everything else well it's probably about like 30 second 30 seconds huh. and um i wrote i wrote a little piece of it and we and then the next time i went into practice i i just finally got out of that broke that kind of like nervous and everything else like singing in front of people and i just started going and uh, i remember my guitarist uh, sleazy steve um he looked over at aaron our drummer and he was like 
this guy, this guy's it. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, you're in the fucking band, man. And I was like, it's like, hell yeah, dude. So it was really exciting for me. And um, all these guys are awesome. They're they're all like vetted. They played yeah. they played <laughs> more shows than I I could count. And um, it was kind of like a little nerve wracking coming on and writing writing all new music and um all of our all the songs that we have right now we have no covers which is just all original music mm-hmm. so we we probably had we wrote eight songs in a month that's awesome and that's so really it was, good it nice. was a lot so i mean in our first show i only had them probably three weeks to write i probably i think i wrote about five songs mm-hmm. and then we did two covers for our first and um it went really well that's so, cool yeah um our bass guitarist he's He's a cool guy, um, Rondel. Mm-hmm. You've met Rondel. Um, he's a pretty cool guy, man. He's he can slap a bass like nobody's business, man. I, I love it. Um, Aaron, obviously, he's well round, well Very rounded, solid. talented man. Yes, he's he's, he's a cool guy. Um, and Sleazy, he's been around forever, man. He's he's badass. He's a badass guitarist. Yeah, I Sleazy's mean, the OG, man. Hell yeah, real. yeah. I'm learning yeah. a lot mm-hmm. from these guys, and um, mm-hmm. they they keep me up and. They they keep me going and they like they we we're all we just like to have fun. We we tell each other when when something doesn't sound right. We don't argue or anything like that. We just have a good time, and laugh it off, hang out, and it's a really fun band. Really must fun. Must be a, a really fun time. It must be a really good feeling going into a band, being like, oh, I don't I don't know how this is gonna go, and then everyone's like better than you, and they're like, this is the guy. Like that. yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Because like when they when he did that, man, it just like brought me right up. I was like hell yeah. I was like that's that's a good feeling to have. Um, never singing in front of anybody ever. I mean, I've sang and wow. like you know I've sang in front of people and like kind of like here and there and everything, but never um, actually wrote down what I was thinking in my head and sang out loud and hearing somebody like vetted guys you'd been playing forever telling me that you're 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 a fucking badass and everything mm-hmm. else i'm like yeah. sweet that's a good feeling thank you <laughs> i was hoping so <laughs> well i checked out your performance on youtube uh from a recent show i think in charleston it looked yes. like it might have been at the tin yes roof. it was um our first two shows we've had were at the tin roof it was great your singing sounded incredible the band was tight looks like you guys thank were you. having a good time yeah we that's that's our main goal is um we want to come out and we, we want everybody to have a good time just come out have fun and you know, push each other around. Have fun, man. Like, you know, just Yeah. That's what it's all about. And yeah. we we're we're enjoying it just as much as you are. And that's that's how I mean, that's just how it's supposed to be. Well, and that's all it's about. I mean, because if you're not having fun, why do it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's, no, there's no reason to do it if it's not fun. No. No. Yeah. It's like the, that's the coolest thing about being in bands that are that don't argue, you know? It's yeah. just like <laughs> <laughs> you just get together you're yeah. like oh that doesn't work oh well move on something yeah. else <laughs> that, that's how it is with us we um we let each other know when we're we got there's some things you need to work on and everything else and we'll talk about it and we'll mess with each other and jump at each other yeah yeah you know, yeah, yeah yeah get your shit together all that all that yeah. fun stuff it's all the fun stuff so it's it's pretty sweet um i remember me and um remember that one okay it's a little bit of a tangent me him and two other people from our school we we covered like a rob zombie song yeah and it didn't go well. <laughs> what song was that? What song was it? Was I it think it was Living... Thunder Kiss 65. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. And all of us, I I think me and him were the only two that practiced it. <laughs> because <laughs> At least once. Yeah, at least. And Billy, our guitarist, he's, he's, super, he's a phenomenal guitarist, but he was not on that night. And then Nathan was over there like, uh, I haven't learned the song. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> But you know, everybody had fun. That it was the main worked. thing. It worked yeah. fine. It was great. It, yeah. yeah, and the crowd loved it. Yeah, yeah. And that's and one thing working with a band is working with young people in a band because I've I've been in bands for well, forty eight years or something. So I've been doing this one for forty one. Wow. So wow. one thing uh, about it is you just learn over time. You know, you really it doesn't like the accuracy is important, but at the same time, what kind of experience are you providing the audience? Are you taking them to another? place to a to a positive experience and if yeah. they're having fun man yeah. i mean that's it you yeah. know and that's that's uh, yeah. the whole point d- and, and just that's, that's all thing. that matters i mean you know, chops are important yeah. I, I mean i get it but at the same time let's just have fun yeah. you know and, and the audience i mean they just want to dance that, you know that's what i'm saying yeah. we love it we love it we, we encourage it more than anything i mean just get out there and have fun jump around run around hit each other everything else i mean that's what the that's the music that we're playing so yeah mm-hmm. loud and fast yeah that's it that loud, sounds fast. good that's, hell yeah exactly everybody everybody just wants to have 
good time here, loud, fast, crazy music. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's cut what, loose. That's what's cut loose. That's yeah, what's it's, never, it's never changed. I mean, back yeah. in uh, 82 when I was getting started in this game, it was, it was the same. And what's so cool now, you know, we have this on Regeneration, to see three, four this. different generations of people that are still believing in – hardcore and the whole idea of DIY and and doing your own thing and yeah. not necessarily having to answer to anybody except your your own standards yeah. and uh, exactly. it's fun man I mean I mean look I mean especially now because you have YouTube you have Spotify yeah, there's so, so many different platforms everybody can too, hear so. your stuff yep mm-hmm. you know and so right now somebody could be watching this uh, in Indonesia or maybe New yeah. Zealand or Canada and they you know they could be digging uh, what you guys are going to be putting out yeah. so yeah. Yeah. so that's a, that's an awesome thing that's yeah it's awesome. a good feeling it's a good feeling that's that's kind of what we're going for is just really just all around having a good time and we enjoy what we play we enjoy the music that we're playing and like we'll, like you know we'll go into practice and we'll, we'll play a song and we'll just look at each other and like yeah man that was <laughs> yeah it. yeah that that's, was that's it exactly that's all, what that's it's fire, all about man like hell yeah let's do it again <laughs> that's, that's awesome. all that's so, what it's about right there yeah. that's right and so dre's got a project Eaten by Crows. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on with Eaten by Crows? I know you've already recorded one record. Um, and, yeah. Uh, and I know we've done some live stuff. We're planning some live stuff for the plan- summer. Yeah. Um, well, right now it's just me. I uh, I record everything and I do. I, I come up with all the song concepts. And I, I spend forever writing riffs and just noodling around. It's mostly like power violence, like punk stuff. Yeah. But like really low, t- it's like I I I have a I have a thing where it's it has to be in C standard. <laughs> if it's not in C standard, it's not low enough. <laughs> it C or B standard. That's twenty years from now, if people know about me, which I doubt it. If you want to learn my stuff, C standard. All around the first four frets. That's it. That's all it okay, is. Okay, we got to correct it. Don't doubt it. They're yeah. gonna know you. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're gonna know yeah. both y'all. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'll be looking down going, those are my boys down there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, and plus, it's all simple stuff. I'm excited for the stuff that we get to do with you on drums, because I know you're probably going to change it up a bit, and I really, I'm excited for that, because it's super cool. The way you play drums is sick, and I think it would go really well that, with the style of that music. You can find it on, like, everything, on YouTube. I'm interested to see that. I haven't, I haven't seen you play drums yet. Oh, man, it's fun. We have yeah. a good time. It's all about big cymbals. Yeah. Yes. Or tiny symbols, <laughs> just not any regular size symbols. It's always got to have a contrast. One huge ride symbol that's like this big, and then a ride symbol that's like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a splash, or like a splash, you know? Like a dinner bell and a gong. Yeah. 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 No, nothing in between. Exactly, oh, dude. Man. Well, yeah, Dre's a lot of fun to play with because he comes from so many different influences. Uh, of yeah. course, Acid Bath being one of the, oh, the main God. ones. I, I listen to them every yeah, day. Acid yeah, acid baths, uh, sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, crowbar. Yep. And then of course, you know the the classic death metal and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but also, you forget to mention the band I Hate God. Oh yeah, huge yeah. Influence. That yeah. huge influence on on Dre's music, and Mostly, then yeah. uh, I, and my influence is like <laughs> Frank Zappa, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Genesis, and Rush. So it's kind yeah. of it's kind of funny, you know, uh, how how that works, uh, you know, because mm-hmm. Frank Zappa, I literally, that's like going to college. Just listen to his <laughs> records. I mean, you learn something every single time. He's got this one yeah. this one number, uh, the Black Page, uh, that Terry Bozio auditioned to join Frank's band. It's called the Black Page because it had so many notes on it. It was just almost like solid black ink. Wow. And yeah. Terry sight read that chart and got the gig. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just, I love Frank Zappa. And yes. and a lot of that kind of spills into punk rock because Frank Zappa was not yeah. known as a punk rocker, but he did whatever he wanted to do exactly. the way he wanted to do it. And it was great. <laughs> so, uh, so, so I, I do like, uh, Dre gives me a lot of freedom to, you know, kind yeah. of. We we experiment yeah. different avenues yeah. of you know types of music we and stuff all, like that. We, do, we most of the time we do like bass stuff. It's just me and him on bass and drums. Yeah, and I'll just like like we have the 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 basement at school. We and have some we, killer equipment at our school. <laughs> we have a twin a reverb oh, yeah. and a basement. A sixty-eight oh, twin reverb. God. Oh, actually, what? it's a seventy-two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Shit. not not to be. 
that be actually an you know, nerd. It's a 72 because it has a massive volume with the pull for the distortion. But <laughs> oh, 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 so a 72 and not a 68. It might be a 73. I don't know. Even better. Early 70s. But yeah. we, we'll take that. We'll daisy chain it to the basement, and then we'll just crank them all the way. And then he'll just smash the drums, and we'll just figure out something really slow and... Uh, you know? Yeah. The only way I can describe our sound is just... Uh, uh, like angry. Yeah. I love it, though. It's I love so it, cool. man. I grew up on it. So. You know what's weird is my influence is a lot of metal and a lot of like hard rock, but yeah. I also love country. Like Oh, yeah. Yeah. Old, old, old country. Like 1800s. Yeah, it's, so. it's the older <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I, I like a lot of older um, country. I'm not, not my, it's not my strongest suit, but I listen to it. I'm well rounded with everything. I love everything. I'm heavy like metal, belly. heavier stuff, and everything yeah. else. Um, let's see. A lot of good music out there. Really good. There is a lot. I mean, and it's. Um, I also uh, like banjos. I play banjo. Oh, really? It's weird. It's such an I, odd contrast. I never try. I wanted to pick it up and try. It, just, uh, it looks kind of hard. It, it it's weird. It's it's odd having to figure out the four and then the little one. is like, like <laughs> <laughs> well, fellas, thank y'all for joining us tonight. Uh, it Absolutely. has been the it's fifteen so minutes of bedlam mm-hmm. because it's like fifteen minutes of fame, but it's it's fame our way. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the DIY exactly. fame. <laughs> So shout out Andy Warhol. Thank y'all for being here tonight, and we're mm-hmm. looking forward to a great show. And hopefully, we'll get some video tonight of the performances as well. And uh, yeah. look forward to hearing yeah. great things from Resident Aliens and from Eaten by Crows. Thanks, fellas. Yeah. yeah.